gentlemen. Welcome to the Chef Rock Show. Uh, as your guest, I'm Chef Rock, and you're here at the Culinary Underground, or under the tent, wherever we are. What a beautiful looking crowd. I want to welcome you all out today. Got some incredible dishes, but first I want to introduce the band. Johnny Valentine and the Candy Bullets, ladies and gentlemen, will be playing yes. for you all day. Hey, Chef. Hey, guys, how you doing? Great. Vito, Aj. Uh, show them that, that one unique drumstick you have. Take, take a look at that. I've been missing that for about a week now. Now, how does that play? Play it. I, don't know how, I can see how that could help. <laughs> I like it. The only guy I know plays is the box. Is that what they call that, the box? Cajon. Uh, the, the Cajon? Yeah, that's oh, it. Okay, we won't go there. It's the box. The man's playing the box, you know what I mean? How'd you start that? You started on like a small paper box? Or, Kleenex you know? box. File cap. Kleenex box and worked your way up. You're one of those guys always drumming something at the dinner table. And look at you go, baby. I love it. I love it. Well, here we are at the uh, Hawaii Polo Grounds, the North Shore of Oahu. I mean, can't beat this, huh? The weather's perfect. We got a nice little breeze. Look at that backdrop. That's incredible. I mean, here we are in paradise, right, yes. ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, so speaking of paradise, let's get going. I got an incredible dish I want to share with you. We call it the Aloha Salmon, freshly caught somewhere, and uh, Orzo Salad. Now, you all know what Orzo is? Yeah, I know you do. You're Italian. <laughs> You're breastfed on this, right? Yeah. It's weaned on Orzo. Orzo, the Orzo man. Orzo is actually a pasta. It's just oval shaped. Cook it the same way, a little faster, probably nine minutes. That's all you need. Keep it a little al dente. Uh, a little secret, anytime you're using pasta in a salad with a dressing, you want to make sure it's al dente because when you put that dressing on, if you let it sit overnight, it will keep absorbing and it'll actually keep cooking the pasta. It'll start getting bigger and bigger. It'll be like the blob. It'll take over your refrigerator, but it will soak it up and it'll make it overcooked, at least mushy anyway. So what do you say? When I make a dressing and I'm going to serve it with other ingredients and put it in the bowl and serve it right away, I like to make the dressing right in the bowl, only because it saves a bowl. You don't have to make it and pour it on. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of olive oil. Measuring, of course, about a quarter cup, right? Hey, that's the Italian measuring spoon right there. It's beautiful. I, I appreciate that. I'm going to go with a little Dijon mustard. You know, big old heaping tablespoon. How about some garlic? Y'all like garlic, right? Oh, yeah. Some garlic? How much? First dates any out there? Eh, what the heck? First date. You go with two tablespoons. Yeah, you will be after that. Quite a bit. I'm going to go with a little maple syrup. Gives it a little sweetness. You can go with agave syrup, anything you really want, because it just adding a little sweetness to it. But the maple syrup adds a kind of a neat little complexity to this. With the ciders that we're using, we're using a cider vinegar. Aloha, you all know Aloha, I'll show you right. Yes. They make all kinds of great products. They've been around since 1946. I don't know if you guys know this, but it's an old family business. Five families got together after World War II and started this business here on this island, and they're still here today. Through all the competition and everything that goes on in the world, they're still here. They got some incredible stuff. This is their apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to go in there and add about a quarter cup. Add a little more. That's good. And of course, you have to have the great show you aloha sauce in there. And I like this big old jug. Usually, I put a handle on it right here, and I use it in everything. It's great stuff. Uh, they also have all kinds of glazes. Give them a try. Barbecue sauces. Everything your little heart desired, Loha makes, because it's you're tasting the taste of Hawaii right here, baby. Give it a try if you haven't tried it. I don't know why you haven't tried it, but I'll tell you what. Give it a go, baby. Let's go. Oh, so you just kind of move, move this about. I'm going with a little pinch of pepper, a little pinch of salt. Not a lot. I don't like to put a lot of salt in. Give that a little mix, and it's nice and easy. I'm going to put the orzo in. Two cups of cooked orzo. You know, you buy this little box and you think that's all, it's not going to make a lot, but it'll actually make about eight cups of, of uh, cooked pasta. So you want to put that in there. You can put a little bit of oil in there if you're going to reserve it and make it the next day so the pasta doesn't get stuck together. But I'll tell you what, put that there, some red pepper, local red pepper, put that right in, a little cilantro, not a lot, but a good tablespoon, green onion, local. If you can get local, what do we say? Get it, right? Go to your store, get as much local ingredients as you can. We want to basically be sustainable right here on the island itself. Nurturing, uh, we get the fish right from the ocean. Uh, once in a while, you might hit a pig, you know? 
You ever come down the, the road up here, the uh, Pineapple Road, at about five o'clock at night when it's just getting dark? You ever see the pigs on the side of the road? The whole family? My God. I swerve a little, I have to admit. <laughs> I'm gonna go with some mac nuts, put those right in, and then salmon. You could buy salmon, poach it, fry it, do anything you want, but we uh, just want it cold and flaked. Leave it in larger chunks because when you mix this with the salad, what's gonna happen, it'll break apart. Ooh, and I, I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little thirsty. You guys getting a little thirsty? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you why. We have an incredible mixologist coming up next. He is the beverage manager of Monkey Pod. How many people have been out to Monkey Pod? Out there in Colina? Woo! Isn't that the coolest place? Well, now you can ask for Jason. He's the bar manager there, the beverage manager. He runs the whole joint. I don't know if you'll get I don't know if that'll get you a free drink or not, but you can ask. No, he's gonna make some incredible, yeah, I just got a dirty look by him. Oh, what? I'll be billing off to you, boss. But I'll tell you what, have you guys ever tried this? Knob Creek, single barrel? He's gonna be making an incredible drink with that. Then he's gonna make one of the drinks with uh, Makers uh, 46. I can't wait for that too. I just wanted to show you the finished product here. You can go with chicken, you can go with mahi, you can go with anything you wanna throw in here, you can go without if you want nothing in there. But when we come back, I'll tell you what, we're gonna throw right over to uh, Jason. Jason, take it away, let's get going there, big dog. We're all thirsty. Thank you, Chef, uh, and thank you everyone for being here. I'm really happy to be here with you. Um, so today we are making drinks with bourbon, which makes me really happy because I feel like in Hawaii, bourbon can be a little bit underrated. Um, people drink so much rum and so much vodka, and people forget that you can actually make bourbon drinks really refreshing and really bright. And like Chef Rock uh, at Monkey Pot Kitchen, we like to use uh, as much fresh and local ingredients as possible. So today we are um, using a ginger beer that we make from all local ingredients um, that comes out of the soda siphon here. And we're using uh, Makers 46, which is the only other product made by the Makers Mark Distillery. Um, and it's a little bit, has a little bit more vanilla. Uh, it uses oak staves, um, French oak staves. And uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use some local honey syrup. You have to dilute this a little bit to make it pour and make it mix, but we're gonna use about a half an ounce. We're gonna use a half ounce of fresh lemon. There we go. Uh, two dashes of Angostura bitters. And uh, an ounce and a half of Maker's 46. Here we go. Awesome. Put the ice here. I'm going to stir up these ingredients, and then we're going to add this uh, ginger beer, which is made from freshly pressed ginger, lemon, honey, uh, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and a couple dashes of Angostura bitters. So, we pour this here, add some more ice. And it's ginger beer. Now sometimes this ginger beer comes out like a cannon. So, there we go. And then we're gonna garnish it with a little lemon peel. And here we go, it's Mako Avenue.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Valentine and Candy Bullets. gluten-free soy sauce to complement any dish. Accent, splash, drizzle, Aloha Hawaiian style katsu sauce. From our family to yours, served with pride. Reach for the healthy choice. Aloha brand sauces, an island staple. Taste of tradition, taste the flavors of Aloha. All right. Woo. Good job, guys. Incredible. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Valentine and the Candy Boards. Yeah, baby. Aj and Vito. Good job. That was like a real Hawaiian one, huh? Mahalo. Mahalo, baby. Oh, excuse me. You got the Lazon from Leilani's now. Now you're hip. 
You guys are in, right? Yeah, we well, blend. You blend. You blend in. Yeah, yeah. I like I blend in. Like Kim Chi. Yeah, Kim Chi. <laughs> hey, I remember her. I'll tell you what. Wasn't that a great cocktail Jason made with the Makers of 46? Good stuff. Great Kentucky bourbon. <laughs> right? They have too much. Yeah, it is Kentucky bourbon. I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure you have one of those and. Whew. Well, I tell you what, not that I would do Jason, but I'm gonna cook with it, okay? Got it? I know, it's a beautiful thing! Ah. See, the guys are like, you know, every time I cook with alcohol, they're like, is that good? Yeah, it's real good. Thumbs up, everyone like that? Is that a good idea? Yes. It's a really cool stuff. It's a, it's a great sauce, and we call it the, uh, I mean, the name of the dish is actually Local Bird with a, with a Maker's 46 sauce. So the first thing I wanna do is I, I wanted to show you the chicken, it's local chicken. If you can get local chicken, you can get local fish, local beef, right? The best place to go is up at VJ's up here in Haleva, the butcher shop across from where? <laughs> McDonald's. Of course. But I'll tell you what, all you have to do is put a little olive oil, a little salt and pepper, that's it, put it in the oven, 350 degrees. Don't overcook your chicken, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure it's done. The best way to do it is what? A meat thermometer, right? Stick it in there, it should be about 170, and it's done, you know? I mean, that's when it's time to serve. And this, this glaze, this sauce that I'm gonna create for you right now is, it's pretty special. I, I actually thoroughly enjoy it. It's, it's good on anything, especially uh, chicken, fish too. I'm gonna go with a little hoisin. You all know hoisin sauce, right? I'm gonna put some in there, maybe about two tablespoons there. Yeah, good, good size, one tablespoon. Garlic, you all like garlic, right? Throw that right in there, just a little. Three or four cloves. How about some ginger? A little ginger? Juice, what do you think? A little ginger, baby? Yeah, oh, behave. Do I make you hungry? Good. This is a nice combination of flavor. The garlic, the ginger, the hoisin. A little maple syrup. Put that right in. Hey, somebody was trying to, hey, get away from the bottle. The crow. Got to put a hook on it. Get back. They're going for the makers, man. A little maple syrup. I'm gonna go with some uh, macadamia nuts, of course. Put those right in. Crushed pineapple, put that right in. Oh, just a little pinch of salt. A little pinch of black pepper, that's it. I'm gonna go with some barbecue sauce. Not just any, we're gonna go with the Aloha. The Aloha barbecue sauce. Y'all know Aloha, right? Show your company, they're the best, babe. Since 1946, they've been doing their magic. I'm gonna put a little bit in there. Mm. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna go with the Makers 46. Okay, who's been into it? I see the seal. So uh, two fingers deep, it's it. Uh, somebody had a shot, okay. Breathalyzer for everyone. This is great, cause <laughs> it's a single barrel Kentucky bourbon. We're gonna put about two tablespoons. Can you? Who's pouring? Oh, I'll tell you. Hey, look at, look at, skydivers. Speaking of skydivers, you guys have been here during the polo season? And they have the skydivers, Skydive Hawaii. They come flying out of the sky here at halftime. It's unbelievable. And they land right here in the field. It's a beautiful thing. So you want to kind of combine these flavors all together. Can you smell that out there now? Not yet? When you taste it, because you're all going to get some samples, you're going to go, oh, that's good. That's good. So it's kind of like a topping more than a glaze, because there's big chunks of goodies in here. So what I would do normally is, I'll put my chicken right here just to show you. I would leave it in the pan. I'd put my chicken down and I would cover it with this sauce. And then I would put it under the broiler and all those sugars that are in there are gonna caramelize from the pineapple and the maple syrup and the barbecue. Oh. And I'll tell you what, it's one of those dishes where you're gonna go, I could eat that all the time. I got a little bit, some green onion after it's all finished. Just kind of sprinkle it right on top when you're serving it to your guests. And I'll tell you what, guys, what do you think of that? There's a little, lo a little local bird with the Maker's 46 sauce. Now obviously you could use Maker's for a lot of different, a lot of different things. <laughs> a lot of different cocktails. But uh, Vito, which one do you like? I can't say on the air, Chef. Okay, well that's good. That's always good when you can't talk on the air. But I'll tell you what, have you been down to the monkey pod yet? It's awesome. Isn't that a great place? You can like climb up, you know, swing from bar to bar. Yeah. That's the only way to do it. Now, isn't it gorgeous there? What I like is the outdoor area where you could actually hang out and have a cocktail. 
very cool. And enjoy life. But this is a simple dish that you can make at home. You can do this on fish. And you could put it into the oven. You can do this ahead of time. And then when your guests come in, you can pop it right back in the oven just on warm, maybe like 275, for like 25 minutes. And what that will do is it'll bring back the temperature. It won't over caramelize all your goodies on top. Uh, I always uh, like to preach, uh, if you could do things ahead of time, doing things ahead of time, with the, I used to refer to as mise en place. It's a French term to keep everything in place. Uh, it's an organization of your ingredients before you start cooking or after you start cooking. So everything's timed just right. When you throw in a party, you want everything to be exactly on time. By doing things ahead of time, little shortcuts here and there, you're gonna save yourself the aggravation and uh, maybe some embarrassment. So I'll tell you what, we got one more cocktail coming up. Jason, the beverage uh, manager over at the Monkey Pod's got another great dish with Knob Creek. Hey, uh, Jason, where are you? Take it away, buddy. Hey, guy's swinging from the ceiling over here. Come on, Jason, work us up a drink, baby. All right. All right. Thank you, Chef Rock. Uh, the next drink we're going to make for you today is kind of a variation on a julep. Um, I recently went on a trip to Kentucky and drank more mint juleps than I care to admit. Um, the first thing we start with with a mint julep, of course, is, is mint. Um, so we're going to put this in here. We're going to do ours today with a fresh strawberry. These are from uh, Kula in Maui. Um, instead of simple syrup, we're going to use local honey. As always, we like to use as many local ingredients as possible. We're going to put a half ounce of honey syrup. And the bourbon we're using today is a Knob Creek single barrel. Uh, this is aged nine years, uh, and it all comes from one single barrel. So each, each one you get is going to be just a little bit different. Now, one thing to mention about this product is that it is a, a 130 proof or 120 proof. So keep that in mind when using it in your cocktails. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit stronger than most. All right, so we're going to muddle this here. All right. All right, and then so I'm gonna fill this with crushed ice, and we're gonna to top it with uh, some Valley Isle kombucha. Kombucha is a um, fermented probiotic tea uh, that's really, really healthy, and it's good for you. So I like to think that I can get uh, buzzed and also be doing something good for my body at the same time. I'm, ho I'm, hoping, I'm hoping that's how, that, that's how it works. So here we go. So Valley Isle kombucha. And then we're gonna garnish this with just a sprig of mint. And there you go. Closed captioning provided by the American Renaissance Academy, preparing graduates for college and beyond. Simply delicious. Healthy gluten-free soy sauce to complement any dish. Accent, splash, drizzle. Aloha Hawaiian style katsu sauce. From our family to yours, served with pride. Reach for the healthy choice. Aloha brand sauces. An island staple. Taste of tradition. Taste the flavors of aloha. We are dreamers. We dream about our future and how we 
make it ours. Where we are the community with pride and citizenship. Where learning is exciting. Where it's great to think differently. Dreams start at our school. American Renaissance Academy. Visit us at arahawaii.org. I can get all kinds of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Valentine Candy Bullets. It's been a great show, a lot of fun. And next time we see you folks, just remember, bada bing, bada boom, if you're hungry, you come to the right place, the Chef Rock Culinary Underground. We'll see you next time. Promotional considerations provided by Aloha Shoyu, Kona Brewing Company, BJ's Butcher Block, Skydive Hawaii, Hawaii Polo Club, American Renaissance Academy, and Sweet Leilani Florist.